going with y'all guys and guys that's man y'all boys and girls are still subscribing to your boy not to disappear for a damn near a little bit over a month man i love y'all man y'all some clowns man <laughs> i love y'all man y'all won't let me disappear excuse me but i got crap all over my face and everything i just ate some boy perplexed up eating some popcorn i'm up here low carbon and trying to change my life as far as my diets and stuff my workouts be on point but you know, I need to get my diet game under, you know, under control because, man, like, the boy loves the sweets. Nevertheless, what y'all think about this rumor that just came out? Well, I actually seemed like it was some legit news that Microsoft should have bought Sony. Some people are saying that, um, first of all, let me say, yeah, it's a leak that came out out of a uh, South American source. Um saying that uh, Microsoft should have acquired Sony for $140 billion. And I'm like, that is crazy. But then some sources came out and, you know, swept it under the rug and said this is bull crap. You know, it'd be a monopoly. I'm like, it's only going to be a monopoly if the governments step in and shut it down. <laughs> it's by you calling in the monopoly don't mean the sale is not going to go through. Remember, we the consumer. They don't give a damn about the consumer. If they want to buy somebody, if a freaking Comcast want to buy AT and T or vice versa or something like that, it'll go through, unless the government comes through and stops it. You know what I mean? Just because Tom, Dick, and Harry comes out and say, "Oh, that's a monopoly," it can't happen like that, dude. We not an elementary school, man. This is business. You know what I mean? They're not gonna. Play no games with you. So nevertheless, uh, but some other sources came out uh, and said, uh, you know, it was, it was fake news and everything, you know. But I, I wouldn't want that to happen. As big as of a, of a Microsoft fan I am, I love Sony as well, you know. And I don't ever see the Japanese, any Japanese country or company, or any Asian company for that matter. That includes Samsung or anybody. Setting out to an American company. And there's a lot of, um, uh, what can I say? I'm trying to use my words correctly. I'm trying to use my words wisely. It's a lot of, uh, they have a lot of tradition in the Asian culture. And I don't care if it's a Korean company or Chinese company or Japanese company. Man, they will never sell to an American company. I don't care how big the company is. And I'm talking about Microsoft. Apple, Google, all these huge Comcast, AT&T, all these ginormous technological companies that can buy everything in Japan. Japan would never sell out. They'll sell to each other for a lesser amount before they sell to us. You know, so <clears throat> let's get that out the door. So that's one reason why I believe that the sale didn't go through. Number two, Sony... Is a pretty freaking arrogant company. I love them, but they're arrogant. They believe they can catch up with Sony's, I mean, with Microsoft's finances in the next couple, <laughs> excuse me, in the next couple of years. You know, I can believe it, man. They got a lot of great content. They got that Japanese market, you know what I mean, that support. You know, the PS5 is about to get ready to take off in the next year or so. You know, so yeah, you know, so it is what it is, you know, so they, they feel like they can catch up, so they want to at least, before they start thinking about settling out to anybody, they want to at least first start struggling. Next, they want to, you know, see who's, if they do start struggling, who they're going to sell to. It won't be an American company. You can forget about that. Number two, man, my second topic. Comicbook.com. They came on and they got a, you know, they came out with a source to, a couple hours ago, actually, and they believe that they know when the next Switch is going to come out or the next Nintendo console is going to come out. They're talking about, because they talked to um, <clears throat> one of the head dogs in Nintendo, they had an interview, and he was saying, essentially, they want to get, you know, the most potential out of the Switch. They want to stretch it out to its full lifespan, which is predictably about eight years. So they about 2025, they want to pull the switch off the market. Okay, but that's okay. They don't. They didn't, he didn't say that they're not going to drop another console. Here's Perplex's take. Here's Perplex's take. I believe they're going to drop another Nintendo console this year, 2021. Believe it. I'm telling you, I believe it, man, because the developers are not going to be there. 
my my switch is struggling. Just for me scrolling through and buying games from the eShop, just not even buying games, just looking at the eShop, checking out content, is struggling. Sometimes it starts to struggle so bad, and I think it's from the memory, like it's such as like the RAM. Sometimes it starts struggling so bad, it keeps me completely out of the eShop. I called a good friend of mine. He said he's going through the same thing. You know, so that's number one. So spec-wise, the Switch is struggling compared to what, like, the Xbox One X can do. Not to mention the Series X or the PS5. Not to mention, I mean, or the PS4. The Switch is not on par with what the developers are trying to do. They're not going to be... Some developers are going to be willing to you know, dumb down their games all the way or completely go down and build their games up from scratch to put it on the Switch. Some developers are willing to do, to do that. But the big ones, they're not going to be willing to do that, man, you know, all the time. Especially if they're talking about just riding on the Switch for the next five years, it's four years. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Nintendo will be talking about not making consoles no more. They're going to be... But Nintendo is a smart company. You know, they're gonna make another they're gonna make another console. And I think it's gonna come out probably this year, at the latest next year, but I believe this year, man, because they wanna make sure they stay on par. Because Nintendo, I don't know if I, I told you guys or I don't know if you guys know. When they was riding on that Wii U, they were like a fifteen billion dollar company. Ten to fifteen dollar billion dollar company. But they were relatively big, man. That's a huge company. You're talking about billion dollar companies. I mean, even if you're worth one billion, then you're a huge company. Now, Nintendo was worth about 10 to 15 billion, you know what I mean, with the Wii U. Ever since the emergence of the Switch, man, they catapulted to 30 billion. And then after that, where they at now, I looked at the net worth, man, they're worth almost a hundred billion dollars. That is crazy. Nintendo was a conglomerate. They own a, they're a locomotive conglomerate. I, mean, I can't even get my words out. Man, they are serious, man. They're making some serious cash. A lot of people are going to say, how over three years, you know, can they make, you know, uh, 70%, 80% increase in their money over a short period of time? Easy. Nintendo is multifaceted. They sell games. They sell toys. They got cereal. They got two major markets they're killing in it. Japanese market, the American market. We got 327 million people in this country. We a huge market. What else they got? Sponsors. <laughs> I mean, the most known first parties. I mean, come on now. Nintendo, it's easy to make a, a 70, 80% increase in your money in such a short period of time, such as three and a half, four years. I mean, but I think if they keep going at this pace, in the next two years, they'll be way up there. Like, they'll be almost a trillion dollar company. I'm gonna say it. I, I'm telling you, they'll be at least worth about 500 billion because they're moving so fast. But they gotta drop the new console. And a lot of people with a lot of intel is saying that, like, Nintendo is gonna drop it. But anyway, man, I wanted to touch bases with y'all, man. I got mad love for y'all. People have still been subscribing. I don't know why, but I got mad love for you because I want them subscribers. I want you guys to show the support. Don't get it twisted at all. Don't get it spent up at all. But Plex wants you guys, man. But I got caught up with my job and everything and personal things, man. But y'all y'all don't want to hear about that crap. Perplex is back. I ain't going nowhere. I mean, I disappeared for about a month or so, maybe a month and a quarter, you know, but your boy ain't going nowhere. And I love for y'all. Tell me what y'all think about them two topics I just dropped on y'all, man. Give me your input. Peace.